Welcome to Brain Break, a new show where we share tips on how to care for yourself and for your community. I'm Julie Saxton, mental health advocate with the Ames Police Department. Did you know that one in four people will be diagnosed with a mental illness at some point in their lifetime? Did you know that most people suffer in silence because they're ashamed or feel guilty? They can't just pull it together. The truth is mental illness is no different than a broken leg or disease like diabetes. Mental illness is an illness, we just can't see it. And that makes it harder to understand or to respond to. Educating yourself and learning how to talk to someone who may be struggling is the difference between life and death. Mental illness does not discriminate, it affects everyone. It doesn't matter if you're rich, poor, educated, uneducated, or the color of your skin, it affects everyone. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. In order to break down stigma, to bring awareness and to educate, some of our very own city employees will share their experiences with mental illness. My name is Sergeant Joel Condon from the Ames Police Department. I have a general anxiety disorder, general depressive disorder, and I have obsessive compulsive disorder. I'm Officer Jen Yetmar with the Ames Police Department and I've been diagnosed with an adjustment disorder. I'm Kinsey Hauser, Mental Health Advocate Supervisor at the Iowa State University Police Department and I have an anxiety disorder. I'm Officer Adam McPherson with Ames Police Department. I've been diagnosed with anxiety and depression. I'm Officer Harry Sams of the Ames Police Department. I've been diagnosed with depression. I'm Julie Saxton, mental health advocate with the Ames Police Department, and I have an anxiety disorder. Mental illness is something that touches all of us. As Julie stated, one in four people struggle with mental illness. We have a responsibility as individuals and as a community to educate ourselves so we can support one another and eradicate the stigma that surrounds mental health. 15 of our youth in Story County have taken their own lives this past year. Many others consider the same on a regular basis. This past year, 20% of calls for mental health services are from adults who are actively suicidal or having suicidal ideations. Won't you consider being part of the change and help your neighbor, friend, loved one, or even a stranger feel supported, encouraged, and hopeful for recovery? We all have a part to play and should commit to becoming a voice for those who feel alone. Be the change, the support, and the voice that stands up for those people who need it most. Thank you, Mayor, and the City of Ames employees who chose to share. Take time to learn and understand what mental illness is and what it isn't, and how to respond to someone who is struggling or in crisis. I'm Kinsey Hauser, Mental Health Advocate Supervisor at the Iowa State University Police Department. Julie and I are both Mental Health First Aid instructors. Mental Health First Aid is an eight-hour class that can help anyone learn the signs and symptoms of mental illness, how to support and talk to someone who's suffering, as well as how to respond to someone in a mental health crisis. Be a stigma buster and join the over 500 community members who've already been trained to support, educate, and advocate for those who are struggling with mental illness. You can find out about Mental Health First Aid by emailing one of us. I'm Julie Saxton, and thanks for joining us on Brain Break. Remember, always take care of yourselves and your community.